Good morning, YouTube. Tried to burn these burn piles. You saw me uh, trying to burn those piles. Well, one of them only half burned. So I want to mulch it. Here we go. Welcome to Hidden Valley Homestead, where my wife Olivia and I escaped the city to homestead our off-grid property in Idaho. This is our journey. All right, guys, you can see that these two piles right here, that one didn't even burn. This one only half burned. And I need some practice with the mulcher anyway. Let's go check this thing out. That one, half of it burned in the middle. Actually, a third of it burned, and I pushed it all together, and then it stopped burning. But all this stuff is still green. So I started doing this this morning, you guys. I, I was just sharpening up the blades here. So in this mulching head, this is a drum mulcher. I have three rows of what they call knives. I can put a sharp edge on these things, and I just sharpened them. They were pretty dull. I did a job for a lady, had a lot of sand, warm down a lot, so I had to put a new edge on them. You can flip these and get another a brand new edge on this side, but you can see the difference right here. This thing is, I've lost, gosh, almost a half inch of blade, but I did put a blade on there. These are what you call carbides. These are carbon tips. They're not as sharp, but they last a lot longer. You can grind rocks with these things. So guys, stay tuned for some future videos on this. I've talked about the skid steer that I bought and I haven't really showcased it yet. Uh, I'm gonna be diving, I'm gonna be diving into that pretty soon here. But uh, give you guys a little taste, put you guys on a time lapse as I mulch this pile behind me. This is 120 horsepower ASV with a Cummins in it, diesel, turbo diesel. This thing is pretty awesome. Here, enjoy. You guys can see, I mean, there's still some bigger pieces. I'm gonna back drag that and try and chop some of this up a little bit finer. But you can see it's turning this pile of alders into just a pile of slash or a pile of chips. It's fantastic. All right, guys, so you can see why it says to stay 300 feet back from the business end of that thing. It's still slowing down. It's off. Yeah, this thing's a monster. All right, guys, so you can see what it did. This is all pretty darn fine chips. And this whole area right here is gonna be our garden and our orchard here this next spring. It's on. I went over it three or four times to try and really chip it up into as small of chips as possible, so. What this is going to do, people might ask, you might ask, why mulch it? I originally was going to save the money because that's going to be wear and tear on that machine as well as the fuel that I'm using to do all this mulching. And I was going to burn it, just like we did with our burn pile over here. However, this stuff was too green to burn, and so I needed to make sure I got this stuff disposed of before next spring. And the advantage to having this kind of mulch on your garden, all of you that are gardeners know exactly what this does for your garden. And this is gonna start rotting right away. It's already starting to decompose and it's gonna mix with this dirt. Now there are a few big chunks in here and I'm gonna rototill this whole area and it's gonna get stuck in the rototiller if I don't take some of these big pieces out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use that grapple that I have and I'm gonna back drag this and take all the big stuff out and we'll pile it up and we'll put it on the burn pile over there and burn that. And then this will be this will all be ready to go for, for rototilling. <laughs> you guys might ask, what is a forestry edition skid steer? Let me point out a couple of things first. Those of you guys that have seen skid steers and know what they look like, they don't normally come with all of this iron on here and these bars. This is all armor for when you're in the forest and you're backing in the trees and you've got all these tubes back here. It's a cage. All of these tubes protect your camp. You can take the fiberglass panels back here. 
this front windshield is made of, I wouldn't say it's bulletproof, but it's pretty darn close. It's a half inch thick of, of polycarbonate, not glass. And the glass windows are protected with these screens, and these are heavy duty. And I've had rock, I have had rocks and sticks come back and hit this thing. It's pretty crazy. Armor up on top. It's all reinforced so that if you get a tree to fall on you, which I have had happen, that way you don't get any damage in the cab. It's all to protect the operator and the machine. It also adds a, a couple thousand pounds to the weight of the machine. This machine without the head on it weighs uh, 12,500 pounds. 3,500 pounds. That means this whole setup right here as you see it is 15,000 pounds. She's not a, she's not a small girl. She's a big girl. As you guys can see, I'm using this machine for the homestead. If we're, uh, I'm gonna be using it for the business. I'm gonna start sharing some footage of that with you guys as well when I go out there on jobs. But this is just a first taste of what we're doing here on the homestead up here in North Idaho and uh, living our, our best life. So guys, thank you for watching. See you guys on the next video.